Yo, what is up guys? My name is Eric and today I have another really cool tri card trick to show you guys. But before we get into this, I want to tell you guys that for the, uh, for this trick, this is my own version of the trick. There are two other videos that I watched, uh, different performances, and, but the same ending. But I, I didn't like how they did it when I saw the tutorial. I didn't like how they did it. So I came up with my own variation on the trick. And once we get to the tutorial, if you guys don't like it, um, I have those two other videos that I watched linked in the description. And you guys can watch those and do it that way. So um, let's just get right into the performance. So as you can see, I have two decks of cards. I have a blue deck, blue deck and a red deck. We're going to take a look through these cards. As you can see, it's a normal deck of cards. You can take a look. All the cards are different. Take a look inside the box. The box is completely empty. We're going to place the cards back into the box. Okay, and we'll leave these off to the side. Now I also have a red deck. As you can see, all the backs are the same and all the cards are different. Now, what if you were here, I would ask you to call stop at any time. So go ahead and say stop right there. All right. So you stopped me at the six of diamonds. All right. So stop me at the six of diamonds. Now, I showed you both decks of cards. They were completely normal, nothing weird. But if we take a look through the blue deck now, all of a sudden, the six of diamonds is also face up. Now, that's really cool. You had you picked the, you stopped at the six of diamonds, and all of a sudden the six of diamonds is face up in this other deck. But now we also have different colored backs. So that's the trick. I hope you guys enjoy that, and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy that trick. Um, it's, I really like this trick. This trick is fun to do, but for this trick, you're gonna need to know how to do the riffle force. You need to know how to do a double lift. You're gonna need two different decks of cards, different colored cards, and one more thing, if you don't have it, um, you can still do this trick. Remember to go down in the description and watch the other videos. You're also gonna need a double backer, all right? So, what you're going to do, you're going to take out a card from each deck, make sure they're the same card, and you're going to swap them out. And what you're going to do, the deck with the double backer, you're going to place your op your different colored back different colored back card whatever. You're going to place that on top. Then you're going to take the double backer and place that on top. So your different colored back card is in the second position. And you're going to do the same thing, place your different color back card in the second position in the other deck, but face up. So you have this deck with a red card face up, and then you have this deck with a double backer, and then this card face down. Okay, so you're going to start the trick off with these in their boxes. Make sure you have this set up before you actually go up to someone and perform the trick. No, oh, please. There you go. So, you're going to start off. Make sure you know which deck has the double backer. So, my red deck has the double backer. So, I'll, I'm going to show that one second. You're going to say, so I have two decks of cards here. And you're going to go, you're going to open up the box and go through the cards. This is the deck without the double backer. So, make sure you go through the deck without the double backer first. Now, this card is face up in second position. You want to do... You want to spread through the cards, but don't flash it. So just push a block of cards from the top off and then just spread through the deck and try not to flash that card that's face up. You're going to do the same thing, flip it over and show that all the cards are different. Okay. Set it down, set it down on the table face down. Okay. Show the box that it's completely empty. And you're going to say, now we're going to place these cards back in the box but you're also you're gonna have to cut the deck in half. So what I did is I like 
pretended to not grab the whole deck, just casually say, we're going to place these cards back into the deck. And what I did there was I just cut that six of diamonds into the middle of the deck. All right, then you can place it off to the side. You take the deck with your double backer, do the same thing. You want to push off a block of cards from the top, trying not to flash that blue card or whatever color card you're using. Show that all uh, the back is the same and all the cards are different. And what you're going to do here, like I said, you're going to know how to do a riffle force and then a double lift. Um, this is easy. You're going to have the swing cut the top half of the cards to the bottom and catch a pinky break then do your riffle force. So you ask them to say stop, wherever they say stop, doesn't matter, you lift up at your break. Now, this is the double back card, and then the next card down is the blue card. So if I just showed this double backer, they're gonna be confused. So that's why you need to do a double lift, make sure you grab their card, flip it over. Now, it, you're gonna show them that it's the six of diamonds or whatever card you're using. And then you're going to take it, place it into the middle, and make sure not to flash the back if you're doing this like to a crowd. And just angle it downwards. So you're going to take the card and angle it downwards so they don't see the back at all. And then you go to the other deck saying, I showed you both decks. They are completely normal. But now, look, all of a sudden, the six of diamonds is flipped over in this deck. And you're just going to out jog it. Yeah, make sure you keep these cards out jogged. Okay, so once that happens, they're going to be like really amazed, but then you say, not only are both cards the same and flipped over, but they have swapped decks. So that's how you do it. It's just one quick setup. Remember, if you don't have a double backer, um, you can make one, just take the two jokers and tape them back to back. These are two cards taped together. Um, but yeah, here's your setup. Remember your blue card then your double backer and then your red card then just another card on top like that so that's your setup um that's the trick that's how you do the trick if you guys didn't enjoy leave a like and a comment and if you're new to my channel please subscribe make sure you hit that notifications button and as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace